A very warm welcome back to Lucas Island for episode six with me, Mr. Sealy P. Five past four in the afternoon, not quite early evening yet. I decided rather than stop planting, I would put some more in the ground. I might as well, it's going to grow. I had already put corn in, I put sunflower in this field here. I've put soybean in the one behind me. All of those are going to be used for feeding the pigs, because if I feed the pigs, the pigs will feed me. That's my theory. What I'm going to do now is head up to the store. I repaired the crawler. I have done a little bit more logging, as you can see the money's gone up. So my power, my energy levels have been restored. What I'm going to be doing, I've, I've repaired, yes, I've repaired the crawler. That's out, out on the northeastern shore. I have I have also done some work on our pickup truck lorry thing. I've extended the boards up. It was a 4,000 litre capacity. It's now an 8,000 litre capacity. Just by milling a bit of timber, adjusting the sides, we're good to go. So what I will do is head up to the northern shore. I need to start building out because there's some more islands we need to explore out there. Now I will start doing that tonight, but I won't finish probably till the morning. It's going to be interesting to see what's out there. It will actually be interesting to see what's out there. <laughs> A certain person is getting nudges in the direction, you know, but you know. Uh, right, so. Don't know why I bought the actual plant all out here. What we're going to do, before I do that, I'm going to grab this. We're going to whiz out to the radio mast and we're going to send our radio signal. We're going to broadcast on various different frequencies. What I could do with an EPIRB, you know, the, when I used to watch Deadliest Catch up in the Bering Sea. And they had the emergency position indicating radio beacons, EPIRBs. And they have to have them on their suits, and I think they have them on the ship as well. So if you go into the water, it activates automatically on contact with the water. And sends a distress signal. Now you have those on ships, fishing vessels, uh, what else do you have them on? But unfortunately, not on aircraft. What you need is like a miniature version of those. So if you have to put on, you know, if, if it, you have to ditch, and they make you put those little... Uh, those little inflatable life jackets on that have the little whistle and the top up uh, for you know, just in case it starts to deflate if you're in the middle of the ocean, that kind of thing. They could do with a little EPIRB beacon on them, couldn't they? So that's what I could do with. If I could find one of those, I'd just throw it into the ocean and it would start broadcasting a distress signal. But am I in distress? That's the thing. I need supplies, I need certain things, but I, I wouldn't say I'm in distress. It's not a distress call per se, it's just a call to say, I'm here. I could do with some supplies and some things. What I will put in the message is what equipment I have, what things I need. I think on my list so far I've got, and we need a corn header for the harvester. Now, what of this we'll get and in what order and how often we'll get resupplied, I don't know. We'll see. Mowers. Uh, a stump grinder would be a great idea because I'm doing a lot of logging of the palm trees and there's a lot of stumps in the way. What else? Oh yeah, some kind of fertiliser spreader and fuel. We're going to run out of fuel. Even if they come and resupply the fuel pump at the main store, fill the tanks there, I need to move those pallets as well. Keep forgetting to do that. This looks crazy with this extended now. I know not a lot of people like this, this little... Uh, I think it fits this really well. It's a little bit like Rasper in that I'm using stuff that doesn't get used very often. A few bits and bobs. I know it's smaller type machinery. A lot of people are really push pushing now for the move to spectacle. The island thing can work, could work. I, I think we'll see how it pans out. I don't want to stop on here. Man, this is only, what, episode six, isn't it? I think. I barely got started on here. I mean, to be fair, we've landed on the island, we've survived, we've rescued ourselves, we've found some equipment, we've 
gone out to a few different islands and found some bits and bobs here and there. We sorted out the radio mast. We can get a signal out. So if I was just signaling out now a distress to say I need rescuing, I suppose potentially they could come and get me and I could end up being dumped on Spectacle Island. I don't know. It depends where they want to take me to. So I'm going to send the radio message. It will simply say, out of ammunition, God save the king. No, that's not going to help very much, is it? Probably need to put more in it than that. Radio message sent. Like I say, I did it on a few different frequencies. Just turn the dial, keep sending. I have been reliably informed that if someone does receive that signal, they can triangulate the position. I, I hope so. And we'll see what happens. Will we get any equipment up here? Will we get somebody to turn up to take our order, so to speak? <laughs> like a drive-in, drive-through, drive-through farm machinery. So now, North Shore, actually I could have gone, I'd just follow the shore, that'd be easier, wouldn't it? Let's just follow the shore line. Have a nice little drive round. Like I say, we'll do a bit of digging out. Now this is, this was uh, never going to be like a, a full-blown let's play in smudges. Like I say, I think when I made the decision not to just survive and not to just get to a point when I could be rescued, I wanted to do a little bit of farming on here. Oh, is that more pallets there? Oh yeah, I think I saw those before. I wanted to do a little bit of farming, which I have got some stuff in the ground. We can do a bit of harvest, we can feed the pigs, we can, you know. I was going to try and see if we get some more industry back to the island. But who knows what the future holds? Who knows what's going to happen? Who, who knows who's going to come to, to my aid and what the situation may be? Who knows what the future will hold? I don't at the moment. I have lots and lots of ideas buzzing around in my head, but that doesn't mean any of them will come to fruition at all. And that's what I like about this. I think that that idea of uh, you know, a full-blown... I know there are people out there that are on episode 60, 70, 40, 50 of a Let's Play, and I've done that. I've done that on various different stories and things like that. I like the idea of short you know, because you can link. I, did, I was going to do it on another one. What was I going to do it on? I think it was one of the Polish maps. It might have been the Pinky. I did a trip out. I've done it on various different ones. I think I did it from... Where was it? To Lone Oak. I've done, I've done various different ones where I've gone on trips, road trips. But I think the idea of a Let's Play spanning across multiple maps, I like that idea. See, again, another idea forming in my head. So, northwest. We are in the northwest. That island is northwesterly. There is a, a spit sticking out there. So we need to dig out to it, dig out to it, build up, yeah, kind of pile, dig. The thing we've been doing before. I'll get that sorted. And I'll probably see you in the morning when we're ready to cross over. And we'll find out what's going to be over there. I always find this bit very exciting. Seven thirty rolls around. We have gone through the night, and in real life, we've gone through the night. I'm heading back down. I left all the machinery down there. We, as you might be able to just see through the trees, we have joined up. Oh. That's the cedar attachment for the for the GT, isn't it? Nice, we'll come and collect that later on. We've got the planter, we've now got a cedar. That's handy. I'm just trying to think what stuff I haven't been able to do. Oh, I suppose oats and things like that. Now, as I said before, I know on this map you can use one or the other and do everything, but for the sake of trying to... I always say that, keeping it real. You know what I mean? It's kind of realism to a point. 
I mentioned that the other day when I was doing the mod review, and a few people commented when I said about the new jet wash by uh, Mantrid. I said, no, it's not realistic. And somebody did comment and say, let's be honest, you know, people argue about the realism side of things of the game, and you're not doing it really, you're not doing it realistically, you're not doing this properly, you should be doing this. We can drive through cows. We can, do, you know, there's all sorts of weird and wonderful things that happen in the game. It doesn't matter how realistically you play it. I mean, I try to avoid when I'm going into yards and stuff, I drive around them. I know you can drive through them. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it just is the way it is, isn't it? Uh, right, so, construction complete. This cost us a, a bit, but then overnight, our, the, I don't, actually don't know if the greenhouses have got any water left in them now that we did originally, but our little garden, that looks amazing. I love that. Um, the garden, the little garden plots we've got made us a little bit of money back on it, so it's not horrendous. The message that was sent, we haven't had received a signal yet. I've been going, I go and check the radio and, you know, we'll see. I'm hoping there's either going to be a signal flare or something will happen and we'll find out whether we've, you know, people have received our, our message of distress. And No, not distress. I decided it wasn't going to be distress, was it? I still love the fact this takes a little while. It needs to really build up pace before we can start driving. There we go, we're good. So, what is gonna be on the island? I wonder. Looks pretty cool already, actually. Is that a lookout point off to the left? We'll go and check that out. More grass to cut. We need, we definitely need, need mowers. There's so much grass on all these different things we can cut. That'll make, doing all sorts of things Fantastic. We've got some storage. That's various different liquid storage. Regular. I mean, it's a bit rusty. Salty sea air and stuff like that, but we have got some more storage. I mean, we've got our silo at the at our main farm area, but that's good. Let's go and check this out. See, we're in the shipping lanes. Overnight, I was giving it some thought as to what I was saying, well, which would have been earlier in this video. Oh, I struggled to get up here. Whoa. Is that a bunker? What is that? We'll check that in a minute. That looks... Oh, we've got another, like, jetty-type thing here as well. Some more shipping containers... I suppose if these islands were, I mean, it was isolated, there was a spit, but it wasn't actually joined to the main island, they would have had to have things delivered somehow. So we do have a lookout, kind of. We could move here, couldn't we? This is very nice. Oh, man. Should have been able to here first, I would have had to build a log cabin. It's all good, though. Right. What else? What have we got? What have we got? Let's go and check down here. Secret World War II bunker. It's a peculiarity. I remember. Ah, ah. I know what this is. This is root crop storage, isn't it? Potato. That's a potato planter, isn't it? Yes. Are they decorative? Are they decorative or are they... Hmm. What else have we got? Some barrels, odds and ends. Stuff can be delivered here though. That's pretty cool. These shipping containers don't open. Is that... Is that trash or is that usable? That's a potato... That's a harvester, isn't it? That's not a topper. Do you need to top first? Some of these we don't. We can put potatoes in the ground. We can get potatoes going. 
I guess it's going to take a while, but... Hang on, let's see then... Uh, here... to say i mean not not a secret bunker but probably more useful in all honesty potatoes for me potatoes to feed the pigs i was only saying earlier on about it being a is it a drive-through i said that then so we can do your fries with that <laughs> are there any potatoes in this though Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I should leave the engine running. It takes too long to build up. This is mint. Yes, 7,000 litres of potatoes in there as well. So the question is, right, I need something with a three-point link, so I need to bring the tractor out. Let's get that planter hooked up. What I need to find out... Now, do I transport all this back to my silo? That would probably make life a little bit easier. If these are de aren't decorative, can I load up from these, or do I need to? I can. Each of those is 150 liters. Okay, we can get a bit in here then. Nice, 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 nice. Mind you, that planter's not going to hold very much, is it? Well, it does mean. We can now get some potatoes planted. I mean, we do have some seeds. Anyway, you can either use seed or potatoes. We have got some seed left on the pallets, but in all honesty, I'd rather leave that for something else. If we've got the potatoes here, we might as well use them. And we have got storage here. We've got storage there and storage at the main farm. So if I do the rest of my field's potatoes, will it all fit in that? Yeah, it should do. This holds 8,000 litres now, doesn't it? Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Take these back. Dump them off. Let's... Well, we can come back and we can use the lookout tower whenever we want to. We can either... Well, I suppose it depends who contacts us regarding help, supplies. We can have supplies shipped here or... I mean, it's closer to the log cabin over the other side. I think that's a bigger jetty over the other one, isn't it? This will be for smaller boats. That's probably going to be for bigger bigger vessels. Oh, that only just fit, didn't it? How heavy is that, though? Right, crawler needs to go back. On the list of things I asked for in the radio message, I think attachments for the crawler was up there. We could probably do with a slightly bigger bucket, but I think it will look a bit odd definitely a stump grinder I thought about maybe a log fork it's going to depend like I say what they what they can ship what they've got available the log fork for me is just going to be to help now I have said any equipment that gets sent we can pay for in either lumber or palm oil because we are cutting down the palm trees we are wringing out every bit of palm oil we can for every tree we cut down Right, I'm just going to follow the beach round. We might as well. Then let's bring over the GT. Grab that little potato planter. Let's get some potatoes in the ground. This is a leap forward. I mean, it doesn't seem like much of a leap forward, but it is a leap forward. <clears throat> Absolutely fantastic. And yes, I was giving some more thought. I was going up the hill and said I was giving some more thought about what I said earlier, which actually technically was yesterday. And I think, you know what? Doing a single Let's Play that spans different maps. I like that idea. I've done the odd, like I said, I've done the odd road trip. I've done the odd visit. But I haven't done it on a Let's Play where the Let's Play continues but moves from map to map. I assume other people probably have. Maybe other YouTubers have done it. I don't know. But I like that as an idea. I, I think... So, you know, we start off here... The idea of building up from here. And I think that's only happened because of 
things that have been released since this, at the time of this being released, you know, yeah, this was the concept, this is where we're going to move forward for, from. But the development of that happens because other things, other things fall into place. So I think, potentially, we'll get some potatoes in the ground. Let's get these pigs sorted. I just think if, if we do nothing else, I want those pigs to be fed. We'll get some grass work done. I've still got those pallets. We'll do that. I'll convert this back to a bale trailer. We'll get the forks. We'll load those up. We'll get those sold and moved out the way. Let's put those into storage here. And then what we can do... Can we fill up the cedar from that? I really hope so. Otherwise this is going to have been a horrible mistake. I'm sure it'll be fine. And, oh, actually, we've got all our stuff that we've planted growing. I just noticed I'm so busy chatting. The stuff we planted yesterday, soybean is growing. We've got sunflower growing over here. That's why I'm really, really going to need... I, I still love... Again, this is another one of those little things that we kind of forget, we take for granted, that the sunflowers will point towards the sun. As the sun moves across the sky, these will move to follow it. Just stop for a second and think about that. If you're a coder, if, you're, if this, that's what you do for a living, then fine. You probably say, oh yeah, that's a fairly simple thing to do, fairly simple script. But for anyone that doesn't do that, you think of what it takes to do that and to get that to work. And it's something that we just kind of don't really pay any attention to. It's those little things you think, wow, if somebody's taken the time to do that's been done, and we really don't pay that much attention to it. That's a sad indictment of us, I think. Quick to complain, but often don't take the time to stop and think what we have actually got. I know I've said that before, haven't I? But it is true. I'm still a little bit baffled. I know I did the video about um, what we know so far about FS22. If you haven't watched it, jump over and watch it. There's a bit of information on there. I hadn't, at the point of recording that, watched the F, uh, the Giants Farm Sim podcast. They've done a podcast on the new game. I haven't watched it yet. But a few people commented, and DJ had said that during that podcast, Lars was asked the question about seasons being turned, can you turn it on and off? And he said, yes, you can. Plus, as far as I'm aware, this is Giant's own version, a, a version of Seasons. They haven't had, Realismus Modding haven't done anything for it. They're not part of that process, which is a hmm, little bit worrying. Wor I don't know, worrying. So I don't know if we're going to get a watered down version. I was concerned because it did say seasonal changes whether we're just going to see the map over the course of the year will go from spring, summer, autumn, winter. Whether it's not seasons per se, but just some seasonal variation on the map, you know? So it's going to be a visual thing rather than something we can actually use. I, like, again, without any time, it's going to tell as we move forward what that's going to actually entail. But it's a little bit worrying, mm, maybe. Now... I need... Actually, I might as well take this with me. I don't need the forks, do I? Because I can hook it on the back. I might as well keep the plants on there for the time being. I'll disconnect them and get back to the side. There's nothing else I need to load on, is there? I can't take both cones. It doesn't have a front three-point link. I think if it did, I could... Um, maybe I should have asked for that. Another tractor. Next, next radio message. If we get a response, if we get any stuff, maybe an, a, a slightly larger, an upscaled, maybe a tractor with a front three-point link as well. That might make life a little bit easier, might it? If I cut down enough trees, maybe we could just go from this to massive. We'll go from this little Fent, little Fent GT, to a 1050 with jewels. That would be nuts. Oh, I should have taken it off. I could have collected that, couldn't I? Oh, we'll cut that later. I forgot. So, you know, while we're on the way there, yeah, just chat, just chatting generally about things, the world around us, things that have been happening. So, yeah, what do you think? I mean, I don't. I, I, I do. I do still absolutely read every single comment. I think having been away for my week, I am. A lot of people said I, I sound more invigorated. I sound more upbeat. I sound more, you know, kind of with it. 
I, feel, I do feel that. I didn't while I was away. I, I, I felt refreshed. It was nice having a break, you know, not having to worry about videos and that kind of thing. And it's a worry about. Um, but I didn't realise how refreshed I was until I started doing my videos again when I got back. And I kind of sat there and thought, you know, I think the last two or th two days I've done three videos each day. Today will be no different. I've already posted the video for Map Tour of Rusty Acres. This will be posting and then there'll be mods today. But then with three done, yesterday I then thought, right, I'll start on. I'll start prepping for my next um, Lucas Island. Whereas two weeks ago I was just on my knees. I, I just felt exhausted all the time. And I would do a video and then probably do the mods and then I would just feel shattered. And I, I think I'd, not anything to do with the work. It's not like physically. I, I just felt mentally burnt out. I felt tired all the time and I would then go and sleep. You know, it's crazy. I haven't felt that since I got back. How long that'll last for, I don't know. Hopefully long enough. I won't bore you with the drive all the way back, but let's hook up this potato planter. It's not very big. It's not going to hold very much. We're going to have to do a few refills, to say the least. But... It does give us some options. It doesn't require a lot of house power. Yep. So if we're going to use a house for doing our potato planting, that's perfect. Horse power. I do still love this GT frame. I think it's brilliant. Such a clever idea. The ingenuity of machine makers, manufacturers, farmers, all these people that problem solve. It's so clever. Anyway, see you back there in a moment. It's surprising how bumpy this beach is. When, when you're in the driver's seat, We've got fields 20 and 21 that we can put potatoes in. We'll hop off and we'll... Uh, remove the planter. Then the next test will be to see whether or not we can... Now... No, that was the back. There we go. Let's hop off. Grab that. Move that out of the way. Put that with our other implements. We'll go back for that cedar later. Right, let's see if this will fill. Please fill from the silo. Please, 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 please fill from the silo. I'm waving under it, he says. Yep. 300 litres. <laughs> That's all it holds. Okay, well, you know, it might go further than I think. It's not a very wide planter, is it? A metre? It's not very much. It's only going to do two rows at a time. This is going to take me a little while. But again, it doesn't matter. Using this, we've planted three fields. Yes, it's not on the scale of a massive American map. Or any massive map for that matter. But... Fertilising. I'm through and trying to think. We need some kind of... I suppose if we got a muck spreader. Because we can get manure, can't we? We're producing manure. Myself and the pigs. Why is that not lowering down? Oh, because I, was, I wasn't on it. This actually goes quite fast. Seven. I mean, yeah, we are going to have to refill quite... I know these lines, these rows aren't straight at all. I'm just going around the outside. I know I should be going up and down. But it's, it's actually... You know what? So it probably are not at all, Mr. P. 
they would be done in straight rows, they should be done in straight rows because you need your peaks and your troughs. No difference if you do potatoes in a, an old tyre or I've seen it done. Who did it? Was it Jamie Oliver? Just to prove you can grow potatoes anywhere but you have to build the soil up around the bottom of the actual stem as it grows and if you keep building the soil up the potatoes will keep to grow, keep growing around it and it had loads, absolutely loads grew in an old tyre, it's amazing obviously there was soil in it as well, not just, not just a potato some potato seeds, put a potato inside an old tyre and then you'll get potatoes, no, there was soil in there as well obviously yeah, we've done a couple of strips and we've used nearly half already. So we're going to have to go back and forwards. Why did that not... That's interesting. Turned out farm dog's furious it missed that bit. That's weird. We might have to come back and do that at a different angle, maybe. Hmm. So yeah, we've got a bit to do here, but we will get some growing. Oh, mind you though, we're going to need a... Oh, no, we've got the harvest, haven't we? I'm going to have to go back over and we have to write that, get that... Oh, did that strip okay? Yeah, we'll have to write that. Um, and then we'll... Uh, we'll see where we're at. That's probably another reason why I'm going to need a bigger bucket, because I'm thinking if that works as a topper and... and harvester, I won't need to top then harvest. I think that does it all. Collect them we'll do by bucket, the same as we did with the straw swaths, we'll just use the bucket on the crawler and we'll collect what it drops on the floor. We can put it into the back of the um I keep saying pickup, it has a particular name, doesn't it? Well, homemade vehicle well, yeah. And then um Yeah, so a bigger bucket would help with that, wouldn't it? I think. Oh, we've gone further than I thought we would. Yeah, so we can harvest these, can't we? That's all right. I was thinking, oh, we need to get back on the radio and all the same. But no, we can do it. We can, we can absolutely do it. This kind of keeps bumping out a little bit. I'm missing bits. That's weird. I wonder if that's just the ground I'm going over, whether it's this particular planter... I don't really want to have to go across at 90 degrees to those, but I might not be left with much of a choice. So we are picking up wool from the container. Down those pipes, out to the bottom, and put it in. Maybe I was going too fast, is that what it was? Could have just been a bump in the ground. Four litres left. Let's see if I can go across one of those and get it to, to go in. Oh, maybe it has, it's just done it, it has already done it at an angle, hasn't it? So I don't wonder why I would do that. Yeah, look away now, if that's going to drive you mad. Yeah, it's missed a few bits here and there, isn't it? That's right. It's not going to be perfect, is it? If we miss a few bits, we miss a few bits. Right, let's go back and refill. Excellent! Keep moving forward. Everything we do is a step forward, it's a step in the right direction. I do need to do a load more logging now, then I need to get my money up. Because we are going to have to pay for whatever gets delivered. I, I can't put out a, We need supplies, we need equipment, we need stuff. And they turn up and go, right, here's what we've got. And I say, oh, well, I can't actually pay you. <laughs> I can pay you in coconuts. But don't have too many of them, trust me. Under it, yeah, I think I am. Aren't I? 
That 7,000 litres of potato is going to last quite a while. So yeah, I was going to say, let me know in the, in the comments, what do you think? What do you think about this, the, the, the idea of the Let's Play moving on? You know, it might be that I do a, like a few episodes, well, I'm up to what, I'm at, episode six. Before I leave here, I reckon we'll get maybe two or three, I'm just trying to think, get stuff delivered, get the harvesting done, feed the pigs. Hmm. We'll see, like I said, it depends what happens with regard to, you know, if people come back to the island whether they're happy for me to be here. I could get evicted for all I know. They could turn up and say, look, you've got no right to be here. How dare you have used all of our stuff? It could be that it is like a whaling station, that it is seasonal work, that people come here and do forestry. They might be annoyed that I've cut down a load of their trees. I don't know what's going to happen. I suppose if that happens, I haven't got a choice. Have I? I'll have to leave. I would like to think they'll be happy that I've... Uh, Oh, I fed the chickens as well. I haven't even been to check on the chickens. Have they even produced any eggs? We'll have to do that. Let me empty this completely. And then we'll... Um... Are you noticed as well? We're episode... I haven't used a worker. Episode 6. No workers. No contracts done. I know. It's not like me, is it? Island life. obviously fits me well. That's all I need. If anyone's got an island that I can go and live on, that'd be great. Just let me know. I've often thought, I'm sure somebody messaged me the other day. I was watching Cold and Corn Star a while back. You, know, you, you probably remember the squad. Um, now, I remember watching them a ages ago, and they were doing some weird thing on FS17 with um, conveyor belts. They were doing a massive conveyor belt chain across about half of the map, and there were a few guys, and they were laughing and joking, and you know, great old time. I think the squad was one guy, and I, his name escapes me at the moment. But on, I was watching Cole the Cornstar, and he turned up, well, message Cole, obviously, and went to Cole's farm. So Cole was talking about the fact he was a YouTuber, and, you know, that kind of thing. I'm sure somebody, and he said he wanted to, to try farming, for real. I'm sure somebody messaged me the other day and said that he has bought his own farm now. First generation farmer, he's learning as he goes, and I think he's now sort of starting out to, to actually farm for real. I, I'm sure it was him. That would be, I mean, I know I'm, get, I'm getting on a bit. I'm getting on a bit in years. I think starting farming now might be, oh no, do I press the wrong button? I did. You know, I'm probably a little bit too old to be starting. I don't know. If I can convince some of my kids to come and help. It could be first generation. I would love to do that. Do some actual farming. Other than just a kind of experience tractor driving day kind of thing. I'd like to do some actual, actual stuff. Right then. Get this emptied, and then we'll go and check on the chickens. I think I'm just thinking time-wise. We've you know, I've done it again, kind of like I, I started off on six ashes, and I, I kind of drifted to and from it. I mentioned it a little bit on on the Rasvet videos recently as well. Trying to get back to that a little bit more. You know, I might only in this episode, as I have done. I've done a little bit of work, done a lot of chatting, went out, uncovered, discovered some new stuff. And I've put some potatoes in the ground. So by the end of the episode, we've put potatoes in the ground. They're still farming. They're still doing it. Have I done 19 jobs today? Have I done loads of contract work? No, of course not. But I'm still enjoying it. Still great fun. Actually, it's not going to take too long to do this. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, actually, I'll say. Is this the smaller of the two? It might be. But I think what we harvest off these, we're going to have so many potatoes. But that's a good thing. We can do chips, french fries, sautéed. We could do mash. Do all sorts of things, couldn't we? Jacket potatoes. Just chuck them in the fire. We'd say bakes, but... I mean, they're technically bakes, aren't they? But we don't have an oven. I suppose we could build an oven, couldn't we? We could make an oven like that. I don't think I could actually do that, but... 
So yeah, you know, we, we're getting potatoes done. And it is a step forward. Hmm, okay. Oh, I was just thinking, why does that stop? I've run out of seed. Or potatoes. So, let's go and check on the chickens. We'll do that. And I think that's where I'll probably leave you today. I'm just, I think... Yeah. Next episode, fingers crossed, we'll get some stuff delivered. If we get some stuff delivered, I'm hoping on mowers. I want to get some stumps ground out, so we could do a bit of that. Muck spreading, I don't really want to... Oh, these are all established things now. Oh yeah, we need a corn header, don't we? If with a corn header, we can do the corn and we can do the sunflowers. With our regular header, we can do the soybean anyway. So that at least gets in the right direction. And then maybe another tractor, I think. Maybe a, a smaller... Smaller, not smaller than this, a small-ish. Or do I go small-ish? Do I just, like I say, do I just get myself a load of... Is that still running? Yeah. So I just decide, let's cut down other trees and get something big. Mm. Thoughts? What are we thinking? Right, that's ready to go. We'll grab the homemade vehicle, simply because it goes a little bit quicker. Well, say that once it gets going, it does. Excellent. Let's go. I was trying to think what I was going to call this episode. I think I went for Secret Bunker in the end. I think that's what I'm going for. I did think about Tatty Bye, as in... I think it was Ken Dodd, wasn't it? That was a Doddism from years ago. There was a thing about whales. It was to do with hooking up... Oh, what was it by now? Anyway, and he said Tatty Bye. Um, but I was going to do Tatty Bye, as in B-U-Y. And I thought about northwesterly because we've been, you know, northwesterly winds and that kind of thing, and we've been, we're going out to northwest. I don't know. I was just trying, thinking about all different things. I think I'm going to go with secret bunker. I think if we've got eggs, we can have eggs. We can have eggs for breakfast. What time is it? Eight oh eight. Please tell me we've got some eggs. Because they weren't really producing. Right, we've got feed in there. Where do the egg boxes? Oh. Maybe I'm not feeding them the right stuff. I know I haven't got many chickens, but I should have some eggs by now. It's been a couple of days, hasn't it? I've just been really blind. Oh, hang on. <laughs> we have got egg boxes. It's because it's in the grass. Oh, fantastic. Right, well, in that case, eggs. Oh, hang on. Please pick up. I don't really want to throw those in the back, but I might have a lot of choice. I should have converted it over. Well, that's as good a way as any to end. It's good to see that feeding these properly free-range chickens, for all intents and purposes, wild chickens at this point in time, we have got some eggs. So, potato equipment, potatoes going in the ground, eggs collected, radio signal sent. Fingers crossed for what happens next. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you're still enjoying it. If you are, if you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.